recording. Welcome to our uh, virtual worship today. We thank God for this day and all of his blessings as we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Lent. Also, this will tra just traditionally be known as our Holy Communion Sunday. However, we will not be receiving Holy Communion now. We will uh, receive Holy Communion when it's appropriate to do so, where we could be in the church building uh, worshiping together. Please continue to follow the directions of our state and nation uh, as we are doing distancing. We really need to wash our hands and uh, practice clean uh, surface, make sure your surfaces are clean, and also uh, be cognizant of being distant from each other so that we can get through this crisis. I want to give special thanks to our class leaders for checking on the class members and helping to make this virtual worship possible. I want to thank our technical team uh, under the uh, direction of Sister Priscilla Sullivan, Sister Paula Rudd, and Sister Shelby G. Strode, and Sister Rochelle Holloman, and Brother Clarence Smith. Thank you so much for all of your worship and praise to God. You are very appreciative of all that you've done. We know this is Palm Sunday, and we are going to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. No meetings until further notice, and especially... Uh, letting you know that we are getting ready for Holy Communion uh, uh, in the future, but we are going to have Holy Week services starting Monday night, and uh, you will hear more about that as we progress during the week. God bless you. We love you, and we thank God for your presence today, and welcome uh, to our virtual worship today. God bless you, and we love you. We thank God for all of you who are gathered here today, and we thank God for the Mississippi Choir in their um, presentation. We want you to remember Sister Lizzie Connor, Sister Marion Dodd, Reverend Barry Frazier, Sister Lillian Gentry, Sister Carolyn Higgins, Sister Marjorie Johnson, Sister Nancy Miller, Sister Anna Walker, 
Sister Joanne White, and Sister Viola White. Let's lift them up in prayer and remember those who have lost loved ones and those who are needing prayer at this time, especially those who are going through uh, this uh, COVID-19. We ask your blessings upon all of them, and please lift them up in prayer. God bless you, and as we get ready to worship, we uh, praise God from whom all blessings flow. call to worship. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For a day in thy court is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord, For a day I, in I will the seek thy good. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. Lord, I have loved the habitation, the place where thou honor dwellest. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth, and sing praises. Let us do so by singing, all hail the power of Jesus' name. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. As we sing this song together, we want you to praise the Lord with your palm branches in your hands.
thank God for all hell, the power of Jesus' name by Chris Filer, and there was a pipe organ, and we do not own the rights to that music. We thank God for the opening hymn, and now we will have prayer by Sister Monica Lamb, licensed with at St. Paul in the Church. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning just to say thank you so much, dear Lord God, for allowing us to have activity, Lord, of our lambs and use of all of our five senses and breath in our bodies. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, that we come seeking the most high God who was everywhere all at the same time. God, we ask that your precious Holy Spirit will just continue to dwell among us, Lord God, that you would touch those on the line one by one, as well as those who wanted to come but could not come on the line, oh God. We ask, dear Lord, that your precious Holy Spirit will continue to move all around St. Paul AME, Lord God, that you will continue to mold hearts and open up minds, Lord God, that we may be more like you each and every day of our lives, Lord. We ask, oh God, yes, that you will continue, dear Lord, to move and sanctify us, dear Lord God, that the whole world will know that you are real in our lives, oh God, with a smile, with your light shining in us and through us all around us, Lord God. Hold back no good thing from us, dear Lord God. Open up the windows of heaven and pour out so much yes. of blessing. We wouldn't have enough room to receive it. And Lord, through it all, Lord God, we thank you, God, for keeping our minds in perfect peace as our minds stay dwell upon thee, oh God. Cover us by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus, as well as our families, friends, and loved ones, oh God, and our brothers and sisters here in the city, the state, the nation, and in this this world, oh God, that all we be do will be pleasing God unto your sight. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you would touch the pastor, Lord God, his wife and family, Lord God. Give us a word, Lord, that we continue to go on, Lord, and do what you have called for yes. us to do. Yes, Lord, Lord, we ask this all in the name of Jesus Christ and consider it done. Amen. 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 Hear our prayer, oh Lord. Our scripture reading, uh, the Psalm 118, uh, 1 through 2, verses 19 through 29, will be read by Exhorter Doris Coffey. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say his love endures forever. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done this, has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine on us. With bows in, bows in hand, join in the festive procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. 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 Our gospel reading will be read by the Reverend Francis Cole Frazier, Matthew 21, 1 through 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her coat by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place in, to fulfill what was spoken through the prophets. Say to the daughter Zion, see your king 
come to you gentle and riding on donkeys and on a coat, the foal of donkeys. The disciples went and did as Jesus instructed them. They brought the donkey and the coat and placed the cloaks on them, for Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloak on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that were ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the sons of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stared and asked, who is this? The crowd answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee, the word of God for the people of God. Praise be to God. Amen, amen. From all that dwell below the skies, Decalogues by Exhorter Strode. And he said to them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The glory of Petri. Glory be to the Father. Amen. What a good God we serve. God is so good to us oh, yes. that he has allowed us to see this day. The blood that Jesus shed for me by Andre Crouch and the new CMC Choir with Friends. And we do not own the rights to this music, but let us praise him together in singing. To the highest mountain and flow to the lowest valley. How many of you have had that blood applied to your life? Yes. And you know that same blood gives us strength from day to day. And it will never, never, everybody say never. 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 Lose its power. Then he said, The blood that Jesus shed. Oh, no. Lose this power. 
Uh, if you go to if you go to our website, uh, you will find the three ways of giving. Uh, donations are welcome. Uh, check or by credit card, by phone. Uh, also, uh, Breeze Church membership, and also text giving. Uh, and those of you who may not be a uh, 
have access to any of these ways of giving, please see your class leader, and your class leader will give you directions on how that you may give. You know, one of the things that happened uh, during this COVID-19 is that it has brought all of us together to begin to think about how we need to care for one another. And we know that uh, offering time is a time of worship as well. And though you may not have the income that you used to have, God has blessed you in some way that you can offer uh, in the time of the offering. Just if it's to make a commitment that you want to uh, uh, process uh, an offering in a way that may be in the future, we want you to share with us that as well. So don't let this time get you down. This ought to be a joyous time that God has blessed Amen. you to be able to give to the Lord through your church. And we thank God for all of you who are worshiping with us today. And those of you who are not members of our church and you have been participating in the offering, we want to thank you. And, and we appreciate uh, you helping us and supporting us financially. We know that God is going to get us through this. And we're going to get through this together, as our governor says. And we thank God for our governor. We want to lift him up in prayer as well. Uh, all things come of thee, O oh Lord. My Christian friends, it's time for us to get ready to hear from heaven. The songwriter says, All night I called on the Lord by Alan Darling and Celebration, and we do not own the rights to this music. Hear ye him as he sings, All night I called on the Lord. Sing. Oh, we're going to have church anyhow. Yeah. 
Amen. We thank uh, the musician and the music for today. And as we get ready to hear from heaven, uh, let us pray. Uh, Father God, we thank you for this day and all of your blessings. Uh, we ask God that you would speak through your preacher, that the people might hear. For when you speak, souls are saved. When you speak, those of us who are saved are deepened in the faith. And God, we will always be careful to give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We honor God who is the head of our lives, and we thank God for this opportunity of worship. We want to acknowledge and recognize our first lady, Sister Shelby Strode, right. and all the ministerial staff and all of those who have worked to make this video possible. And we thank God for you who are gathered here today. This being the sixth Sunday of Lent, we are so grateful to God for this opportunity of worship. On last Sunday, we, we talked to you about Jesus gives us hope. And on the fourth Sunday of Lent, we spoke to you on God still works miracles. Uh, the blind, the man that was born blind, and last Sunday, Lazarus, who was raised from the dead. Today, we want to look at the gospel reading of the 21st chapter of Matthew and the third verse. If anyone asks, why you are doing that, just say to the Lord that the Lord needs them. Right away, he will let you have the donkey. So God's promise came true, just as the prophet had said. And then I want to look at Mark eleven eleven. After Jesus had gone to Jerusalem, he went into the temple and looked around at everything. But since it was already late in the day, he went back to Bethany with the 12 disciples. Then I want to look at Matthew again, 21 and 10. When Jesus came to Jerusalem, everyone in the city was excited and asked, who can this be? The crowd answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. I want to talk to you for a few moments on this thought. Jesus comes to save us. Jesus comes to save us. Amen. One of the things that happens in our lives many times represents troubling times. We can think about the good times as well as the bad times. But God uh, does give us an opportunity to look at what happens in our lives, whether it be good or bad. And many people have been analyzing uh, this virus and trying to say, well, it's God, man, God made or man made. The thing is that this virus is serious and it's causing all of us to begin to think about how we relate with one another, and that's one true way of recognizing how we are to live in the faith and walk with God. Amen. The text places us at a time where Jesus had already caused Lazarus to rise from the dead, and he had a banquet uh, with Lazarus and Mary and Martha, and now uh, he's ready to go into Jerusalem. While getting ready to go into Jerusalem, he's uh, recognizing uh, the time. You see, you see, Jesus does things not at a spare of the moment. Everything was was planned and prepared from the prophecy. Yes, Lord. If you listen to the scripture where it says that that he told them to go find. Uh, these donkeys, so he could ride into Jerusalem. Matthew uh, 21 talks about two donkeys. 
Mark talks about one donkey. Luke talks about one donkey. John talks about one donkey. And the only uh, part of the scripture that gives the same account is his triumphant entry into Jerusalem. You see, the synoptic gospel, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the ones that have everything in it together, are synoptic. John is not a synoptic gospel, but when it comes together, all four of them talk about him entering Jerusalem. My Lord. Even though they use uh, one donkey in the other writing, uh, Matthew uses two because he wants one to see that the prophecy of Zechariah 9 and 9 becomes true. And while they are going to get the donkey, uh, he, Jesus told them, if anyone asks you, tell them uh, the master has need of it. You see, prophecy worked. Jesus did not have to plan this. This was already going to happen. Oh, yeah. Some things happen that are not planned. And we don't understand it. But God knows. God knows everything that's happening in our lives. So now Jesus comes uh, on the road toward Jerusalem. And while he's coming into Jerusalem, the Bible says that people start praising him and, and crying out, Hosanna in the highest. Yes, Lord. Hosanna meaning save us. Hosanna meaning that we praise you. And while they are traveling toward Jerusalem, the Bible said that they threw their clothes on the ground. Yes. As to say, this is a triumphant entry that now Jesus is coming into Jerusalem. And I hope you get the picture that Jesus has already prepared the way in he's coming at the right time. You see, Passover is coming on Friday. And now Jesus is going into the temple to look at things. You see, while he's traveling to the temple in Jerusalem, the people are crying, Hosanna. And while they are crying, Hosanna, Jesus is taking it all in. And while he's taking it all in, he doesn't open his mouth. He listens to them. You know, there's the donkey that he's riding on. There's the crowd that's crying out. Yes. In that crowd are people who don't even know him. There are people in the crowd who want to kill him. Oh. There are people in the crowd who's just in the crowd, and they don't even know why they're in the crowd. They're just in the crowd. Please. And I'm here to tell you today that even in our churches, we have crowds. <laughs> there are those who know what's going on. Yes. There are those who don't know what's going on. And there are those who don't even care. They're just in the crowd. Please. So wow. He's moving toward the temple. The Bible is saying that there are people who are, who are murmuring. This is Jesus. Others are saying, who is he? And somebody in the crowd says he's a prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. And while Jesus is going into the temple, he goes in. And he looks around, yes. and he doesn't do a thing. He just looks, just like today, 2020. Jesus is coming into our home. He's coming into our church building, and he's just looking at everything, looking at what we claim to be our experience of worship. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you today, that Jesus didn't open his mouth because on Monday night during Holy Week, you'll see why. And now 
he is moving back to Bethany. And while he's moving back to Bethany, something is happening. He is causing his disciples to take notice of what's going on. This virus is causing us yes. to take notice of what is going on. Preach. Jesus comes to save us. He comes to let us know that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes. And I've come to take you from one good degree of grace until another. So today I'm asking you to question. Do you know that Jesus comes to save you? Because if you don't know he comes to save you, the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem was to let everyone know that their expectation of Jesus was not God's expectation. Many of us get caught up into a lot of things, and we have our own expectations. Yes, yes. But our expectations many times are predicated on something that we believe. And in doing so, it takes time for us to recognize if our expectations are in God's expectations. Yes, Lord. The owner of the donkey knew to let Jesus have the donkey. To fulfill prophecy. Yes, Lord. I'm asking you today. Have you recognized that Jesus has come to save us? That he is here to give us life? My so Lord. That we might have it more abundantly. Yeah. Jesus went into the temple and looked around at everything. But since it was already late in the day, he went back to Bethany with the 12 disciples. What I hope you get from the message today is that, is that the, 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 the lordship of Jesus mm. is predicated in him being a shepherd and a king. They cried Hosanna because Jesus was in the model of David. David was a shepherd boy who later became a king. And the people of Israel were looking for a king like David. And many of them thought that this was the Messiah. They said, this is the king that we've been looking for. Their expectations of Jesus was to come and to take over Rome. That Jesus was to come and to become a military leader. My Lord. They misunderstood the yes. scriptures, didn't recognize that Jesus came to save humanity. Humanity was falling into degradation and sin, and Jesus is coming to save us in spite of their praising God and saying hallelujah. This is the same crowd who hollers out crucify him. My God. They are the same one that expected Jesus to come and become the leader of their world. But they didn't know that he had come to seek and to save those who were lost. And because Jesus comes now, to seek and to save those who were lost, their expected expectation of Jesus was flawed. Jesus comes to give his life yes. that we could have life. Jesus comes to bring them the assurance that I have come and I have come to give you the bread of life. And because I have come to give you life, your expectation of me now is blurred because you don't see what God is doing. God is reconciling the world yes. back to himself. And it's through me that one will become saved. Yes, Lord. And then the final thing, and then we're through. <laughs> Jesus doesn't always meet our expectations. 
They were expecting a king who would be a great military leader. And you know today, the Lordship of Jesus is totally different than what they expected as a king. When he rides into Jerusalem and looks at the temple, he, he does not open his mouth, and he goes back into Bethany. Let me finish. We must tailor our expectations to what God wants and not try to tailor God to fit our expectations. Amen. Christ is Lord. And he knows what is best. Quit trying to fit God into your expectations. Yes. Let God fit you into his expectations. Amen. We, not, we, we must not be like the people in Jerusalem who held Christ as their king just so long as he fit that image of what a king should be. Let us rather acknowledge him truly as our king, our Lord, our sovereign, and receive from him whatever he has given unto us. Well, I know God is real. Yes, he is. Because 46 years ago, I heard him when he called me and, and told me to go preach his word. Yes, on, 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 on Holy Week, he, he told me to go preach, and I haven't been the same since. For 46 years, sometimes up, sometimes down, but never, never to the ground. I knew Holy God God. came to save us, and he's saving us over and over and over again. God is taking care of all of us because he is our Lord and Savior. Yes, he is. And just because you don't see it happening right now, on Good Friday, we're going to talk about him dying and what he said on Good Friday. But early resurrected morning, he got up out of the grave and declared all heaven and earth in his hands. Amen. There may be someone here today who've heard the word today, and you want the Lord to be the Lord of your life. We invite you to give your life to him. Or maybe you'd like to rededicate your life to him. If you want to, you can call the church and leave it on the answer machine and let them know that you've given them the Lord Jesus, that the Lord Jesus Christ has come into your life. The telephone number is 859-255-7945. Again, the telephone number is 859 255 Seven nine four five. I hope you will give your life to Jesus. And those of you who just want to call the church and have prayer, just call him and the pastor will get back with you. Let us sing together as we invite you to come to Christ. Yes, God is Real by Calvin Bridges, and we do not own the rights to this music. Yes, God is Real. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Letting the world know that Jesus is the answer.
songs of praise For it was grace That bought my liberty Just why Christ came to love me so. He looked beyond all my fault and saw my need. I shall. Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the church universal, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 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 From all that dwell below the skies, let our Creator's praise arise. <laughs>
Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace. And the people of God shouted together in song. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you next week on Zoom. Amen.